but also in New Jersey, uh, you can bet online by just downloading the app uh, in the App Store, uh, and you can bet from anywhere within the state, but you do have to be present within the state of New Jersey uh, in that case to place your bets. You know, out here in Nevada, you've been able to bet on sports for, for decades, uh, and you go into a casino, you sign up for your mobile account here in the state of Nevada, and then you can bet anywhere within the state. And right now, we do about two-thirds of our business uh, on mobile. So you're just betting on, you know, you're at, you're at a Devils game, you're just betting on that game, or can you bet on all sports? Can you tell me a little bit about what it's like for them? Sure, you can bet, uh, you can bet on all sports uh, within, uh, within, the, uh, within the state of New Jersey. Just like, you know, look, I was at the uh, Golden Knights game here in Las Vegas last night. Really, really exciting game, and they do a great job there. But not only were people betting on uh, the uh, Golden Knights game, they're betting on other hockey games that are going on. Uh, and now, of course, this is a busy time in the sporting calendar. Last night you had the last game of the World Series. Basketball is getting going. We're in the middle of football season. So there's a, lot of, uh, there's a lot going on on the sporting calendar, which makes it a busy time of the year for us. Joe, it's Jacob McDowell. Name a sport that people might be surprised that people <coughs> bet on so much. Like, well, I'll it, tell you. Go ahead. No, I was going to say, one of, one of the big, so right now we do about, uh, here in Nevada, we do about 37% of our business on what we call in-play sports, or at betting after the game has started. The number one sport for in-play by far is Major League Baseball, because uh, the, the pace of the game is so conducive to it. Uh, but also tennis is a, is a big game, uh, that, uh, or a big sport for in-play wagering. I would not expect tennis. <laughs> that is yeah, but people, but again, it's because it's only two players, and or in singles, it's two yeah. players, and you can see if somebody looks fatigued yeah. or has gotten inside of their own head, and so that's when Funny. you you place an in play bet, maybe. Well, you know, I, I've it's done got speaking from experience. <laughs> Yeah, you know, look, it allows you to take a, a, a bigger game and then chop it down into a much shorter interval. So, for instance, in baseball, people like to bet, will there be a run scored in the next inning, yes or no? There's a natural break period in between innings, and we'll have people bet substantial sums of money just on the next inning. You're taking a three-hour game, you're chopping it down to a 20-minute game. Tennis, same sort of thing. People will bet set by set or game by game, and you're taking a longer event and chopping it down into a much shorter event so people can make their bet and know whether they won or lost in a short uh, period of time. Very cool. Joe, great, uh, great to have you. Thanks so much. We'll be watching. All right. Thank you. Joe Asher joining us there.